On behalf of Michael and Claire, allow me to express our gratitude for you to be here with us today as we celebrate this very special day. Michael and Claire, the journey you just took down that middle aisle is a very small representation of the long journey you have been on up until today. You have journeyed through childhood, adolescence, several continents, countless chapters, and your 20s to reach each other. <laughs> all of us gathered here at this moment today. You guys have certainly dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> Michael, you first saw Claire and you were immediately interested. And Claire, yeah. you saw the way that Michael looked at you and you thought, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and Michael, battered as you were from other relationships and life's experiences, thought to yourself, can this woman really handle me in all of my rough edges as a Marine? And more than that, can I trust her to let my guard down and show her who I really am underneath it all? You said those words every guy dreads hearing, let's just stay friends. <laughs> <laughs> but you found that you really enjoyed texting back and forth with this new friend. That is until Michael ghosted you. <laughs> when he went on deployment. <laughs> oh great, you thought to yourself, I've been down this road before. <laughs> Turns out, Michael, you were just simply a little too uncomfortable and to initiate over FaceTime. We began to FaceTime, watch shows together, discuss life, until eventually those virtual hangouts went in person over cups of tea as you caught up on each other's lives. Michael, you claimed, I love her as a friend. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Claire, you found yourself making a fleece with the Lord. You had to go to LA to perform a show with your harp. And you told yourself, if Michael's interested, he's gonna wanna join me on this road trip. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> And then on New Year's Day, midnight, 000, military time. <laughs> January 1st, 2021, you shared your first kiss. For just as Paul says in 1 Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it, is not, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. trustworthy man and I'm just excited to trust my life with you <laughs> and I'm excited to see all the adventures we go on and living together as a team and getting to love each other. Hey Claire, so apparently this is the video where I pour my heart out. Um, you know how much I love you. I love you so very much. I love you for a very long time and I'm super excited about today. Um, yeah, it's a long time coming. It's going to be a great first day of the rest of our lives. So I hope everything's going great. I love you. Have fun over there. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said the word love. <laughs> Michael, my captain. The voyage our relationship has taken to get here has been a meandering one. <laughs> If you'll indul indulge the oceanic analogy, sometimes we've been like two ships passing in the night. Sometimes we've said a quick hello on the radio before embarking to separate seas. Sometimes we've docked gently next to each other in a safe harbor. And sometimes we've been taken into the yard to have the barnacles scraped off and a new coat of paint if we're lucky. <laughs> you today never lose sight of what the Lord has done in your journey in the years leading up to today because you're going to need to remember it in pain 
the burdens, the questions, and the failures that lie ahead. Marriage is simple. Seek to love one another more than you love yourselves. Through the journey, I believe God has brought us together and closer in each endeavor. You, as a person, are much more of a captain than a ship. <laughs> I've called you my captain for a while because of your rank, and I enjoyed the maritime implication, but you are a wonderful example of an honest and trustworthy man with a loving heart for God and people, which is what any good captain should be. You've been a good friend and a comfort in my life, and now you take care of my cracked and barnacled heart. You're the person I can run to with things and not hide from no matter how stormy the seas. Oh, hide from you, like no matter how stormy the seas. <laughs> <laughs> we are a team in, um, in the two models. I'm happy to be standing in front of you here today. I feel blessed by the compassion, love, and grace you continue to give me on almost a daily basis and I promise to continue trying to work on those things in return. I promise to be your trustworthy, confident, and spiritual partner. And above all, I promise to love you with God at the center of our relationship and life together. <laughs> Claire, you're my best friend. You're the best friend I've ever had. Um, sorry, Bill, but by far. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me and believing in me during times that most people wouldn't. When I transitioned off active duty, and I didn't know what I was gonna do, and you put my head between your hands and you say, it's gonna be okay, and I believed you. My unexpected six month mobilization to help with the Afghans that we brought in the United States, I know you were scared because it didn't necessarily work out great. Deployments weren't a good thing before, and yet somehow we came through that stronger than ever. And also, who could forget with all those things I mentioned, in the first year and a half of us dating, I was gone 10 months. And you still supported me through everything. I promise to love you and listen to your advice, even if I'm pretty sure I'm right the answer. But, you know, sure, I'm, I'm right the answer. But you're probably right. 90% of the time, you're right. But the 10% of the time I am think I'm right, you're still probably right. <laughs> I promise to bring you tea and put on a bath when you're not feeling well, or when you are, because sometimes you don't stop to take care of yourself. I promise to bring you food too, because when you're fairly busy, you don't remember to eat. <laughs> and I promise to have fun exploring the world with you. Still enjoy the parties as we get older, because getting older isn't an excuse to become boring. I love you, and I thank God every single day that he put you in my life and I'm looking forward to the rest of our life together until death do us part. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing Michael and Claire Wagner. Uh, he was going to meet me at the altar. 
obviously. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was just amazing to see that, see you two together. Uh, granted, this is the first time I've met Claire. I've heard a lot about her, and it's awesome. Uh, my first memory with you is smacking you on the tush with a sword, yeah. which is great. Right. Uh, so I look forward to becoming a good friend of yours in the future and see how you make fun. I, Claire, take you, Michael. I, Michael, take you, Claire. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. And here, too, I pledge you my faithfulness. To give you serving as a symbol. Of my commitment to love. To love. Honor and respect you. And respect you.
you, Michael, take Claire to be your wedded wife, to be committed to her, forsaking all others for her alone, and to be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall I do. And Claire, you take Michael to be your wedded husband, to be committed to him, forsaking all others for him alone, and to be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live. I do. For as much as you, Michael and Claire, have consented together in holy matrimony by the power vested in me by the state of California and in the sight of God as witnessed by your friends and family today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Michael, you may kiss the bride.